Welcome back to our channel, where we break down complex financial concepts into simple, actionable insights. Today, we are diving into a hot topic in the world of investing today. We are going to understand what is lot size in the stock market. Let's start by simplifying what lot size is. It is the smallest number of shares or units of a stock that you can buy or sell at one time. But why is lot size important? Well, it is like the building block of stock market trading. It ensures that every trade represents a specific quantity of shares. To understand lot size better, let's dive into our IPO example. Imagine a company, XYZ Incat rated, is going public, and they're offering shares to the public for the first time. XYZ Incaporated has decided that the lot size for their IPO will be 100 shares. This means that when you participate in the IPO, you can buy or sell shares in multiples of 100. Now, let us put ourselves in the shoes of an investor. You are excited about XYZ Inc's IPO and you want to participate. Since the lot size is 100 shares, if you want to buy 200 shares of XYZ Incaporated, you'll need to buy two lots which means 2 times 100 equals 200 shares. Conversely, if you decide to sell your 300 shares of XYZ Incat rated, you can sell 2 lots, 200 shares, and keep 1 lot, 100 shares. As XYZ Inc's IPO concludes successfully, you've not only invested in an exciting new company, but you've also navigated the concept of lot size. The key takeaway here is that lot size ensures uniformity and fairness in trading, whether it's in an IPO like XYZ Inks or in regular stock market transactions. Thank you for joining us today as we explored lot size using our IPO example. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the world of finance and investing. Investments are subject to market risk. Read all scheme-related documents carefully. This video is only for educational purposes. Please consult your financial advisor before making any decision.